Hi, I'm Dr. Nishant and I'm going to make small incision cataract surgery very easy for all. Before doing the superior rectus, make sure you bend your hand, hold the rectus and pull it before you take the bite. Always give 2 mm gap between the limbus before you hold so that the tenons and the conjunctiva are held together and with a single cut both are cut evenly so that you don't leave remnant tenons. While cutting push towards the cornea and cut so that you expose the blue zone properly. Always use minimum cautery, just the bleeding vessels. Do not go too near the cornea as you might damage it. The incision should be a frown incision helping in astigmatism. And after you make the incision, make sure that you deepen it before you start making the tunnel. So I keep it a little vertical and deepen it, two or three strokes. And how will you know it is depth sufficient is, keep it at the section you will find the tip of the crescent engaging into the tunnel. Then with a the wriggling motion, you can actually go inside. When you are near the cornea, lift it up little so that you don't make a premature entry. Point it towards 6 and start making the tunnel so that the cornea, the sclera and the incision which you made all are cut evenly together. Side port is made and extended little so that the Simco cannula will be able to engage itself. Keratome entry, go to the edge of the tunnel, come 0.5 mm back, dip down, see the temple and then enter. Once you enter, keep it straight and points towards 6. Always cut while going inside for a keratome entry because we know that the inner lip should be larger than the outer lip. Continuous Cavillino Capsular Excess is one of the most important steps. While lifting the flap, don't go till the extreme end because once you lift the flap, if it goes under the iris, it might disappear and will be difficult for visualization. There are two forces, the shearing force and the ripping force. Both should be used simultaneously to make sure that the capsule is round, it is big and you are having it under your control. In a well dilated pupil, you can have the pupil margin as a marker so that it does neither become too big nor become too small. Once the rexus is done, inject some saline in the anterior chamber to bring out the visco. Go under the anterior lens capsule, lift and start injecting, you will see a wave. When you see a wave, you give an extra push so that one pole prolapses out. To bring out the nucleus from the bag, you should always use a motion of upwards and outwards, up and out and out. So while doing this make sure that the whole nucleus is coming to the anterior chamber. Inject visco below to denucleate the bag and above the nucleus. Use the irrigating vectors to go in the side so that you create some space without pushing the nucleus. Tilt it down and then engage the nucleus. While bringing it out make sure that you depress the lip rather than pulling it. Epinucleus can be brought out by just slow depression of the tunnel. Cortex wash is very important as you make sure that you hold the cortex, bring it towards the center and then aspirate. So wanting to aspirate the sides, go, don't go to the side of the tunnel, keep it in the center as fulcrum, just turn so that the tip goes under the iris and pull it in the opposite direction. For example, if you are holding a 3 o'clock, go hold a 3 and pull it towards 9 o'clock and not just towards the outside part. Subincisional, you can use the side port where the anterior chamber will be formed. Whichever direction you are holding and pulling the cortex, you should always go to the opposite side. For example, now I am going to take the cortex from 11 o'clock. Once I get the hold of it, I go towards 4 o'clock, it rips properly and then it can be aspirated. Inject sufficient visco to make sure that you inflate the bag first and then the anterior chamber. Here we are using a single piece PMMA rigid lens. Always hold just above the center part of the lens. Don't give too much of pressure at it and crack. I use two instruments and make sure that the leading haptic goes into it. Once the leading haptic is inside, I visualize it to go under the iris and into the bag by lifting the trailing haptic up. Once I lift the trailing haptic up and it goes in, I just position it. Now I use three important D's. 
drag the press and dial I use this for all my lens dialing always go through the side port hold the dialing hole pull towards the center drag the press and dial it so in one go you have the lens inside the bag so this can be used even for foldable lenses where you hold the optic haptic junction instead of the dialing hole the visco should be completely washed from the anterior chamber and just go near the angles also one so that all the visco which is stuck to the angles can be washed and I will do a small amount of flush on the endothelium because the visco which is stuck on the endothelium also can be washed do not inject with force as there are chances of endothelial cell loss for stromal hydration for forming the side port I keep injecting go towards the side port inject and come out with the continuous irrigation and you can see that the anterior chamber is formed I do not cauterize I use subconjunctival dexamethasone with antibiotic and just inject between the conjunctiva and the tenons for the ballooning this will close the section thank you so much please like share and give your comments any questions also shall be answered